This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so we're talking about Tory Lanez. He did win that appeal to have more evidence introduced. Uh, so, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I think that he'll be let out of jail next year sometime. You know, I know you got 10 years, but... You know, I think they're going to reintroduce this evidence and, you know, he'll get like a lighter sentence or like they'll reduce his sentence. And I don't know. You know, they gave this girl Kelsey immunity. So much stuff was done wrong in this case that if they get the right judge to relook at things, I think that they would have to reopen it or let it go. That's my opinion. Because I just believe everybody was wrong in that call. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, like everybody had their their part. All right, so we got Shakur Stevenson. Um, he was the most... Okay, this is this is from Jay Prince Jr., right? Or, I'm sorry, Jay Prince. Jay Prince is, is just... He's no good, dude. Like, the more... I used to have a lot of respect for Jay Prince. Just from here, you know, rap a lot. Ghetto boy, Scarface. You know, you when he was more in the shadows and not threatening people all the time publicly it was a better time now he's threatening Cameron threatening Mace for their opinions on something telling NBA Youngboy they got his keys threatening Birdman over over Drake and Lil Wayne stuff uh Jay Prince Jr. over I'm, I'm sorry not just Drake stuff Jazz Prince not getting paid then you know his son and then you know you hear about how he treated floyd mayweather how he treated scarface how he treated the ghetto boys the group as a whole pimp c you know you just hear all this stuff and you're just like man this guy was a bully man ain't no way around it And his son is trying to be a bully too, Jay Prince Jr. Always threatening people, threatening Takashi and this one and that one. Uh, you see what happened with Takeoff. And Quavo, you know, they had all that stuff going on at the dice game where he couldn't keep him safe. It was crazy. If you're the king of Houston, nobody should get their life lost under your watch at all at all sorry i was painting earlier that's why i'm sneezing um i was sanding and stuff um nobody should get their life lost you should be able to control the situation and he couldn't he proved he couldn't they can't keep anybody safe excuse me jeez i have a lot of dust in there um Th this is a this family's no good man you know r.i.p takeoff even the way they paid homage with the with the flowers saying prince family and then after an afterthought of r.i.p uh takeoff behind on a little placard that was disgusting i have no respect for the prince family anymore i don't think a lot of people do cameron and mace were like you know get out of here with all that you know we, you know we, we ain't messing with you now, Young and Ace is trying to avoid a Rico for sure. I'll watch this. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. This guy's an idiot, bro. This guy is dumb. Like, just stop talking. You know? What you think about Fulio dying, cuz? That shit sad. Twin, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all boys in the street, y'all didn't leave the streets alone, twin. All condone and shit like that. But y'all just gotta stay Y'all gotta... It's so funny, cause me, bro, like, we cool. Like, we was cool and shit, you feel me? Me and him, like, we cool and shit. I was just... So funny, I was just talking to him. I'm like, bro, you gotta stop the way, bro. You know a nigga love y'all here? Like, stop the way, real shit. Like, you know how I fuck with you, real shit? Stop the way. So, you know what I'm saying? To all the kids, y'all stop the streets. Everybody stop the streets. Oh, um, you feel me? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm supporting everybody who getting out the streets. Stop the streets. I'm out the streets. What you think about... Bro, this guy's trying to avoid a Rico like crazy. Right? Am I wrong? This guy was talking real spicy just a few days ago. Then he started getting investigated, I'm sure. Or they started asking him some questions. And 
changed his tune real fast. Let's just say that, all right? Uh, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. Crazy. I guess Biden dropped out of the election. Now we got Kamala. Uh, bro, this is, you can't make all this stuff up that's happening. It's, it's crazy out here. Every day is something different, man. And we're living in the twilight zone for the past four years. Let's be honest. It's crazy out here. <laughs> this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments. Yeah, there's nothing really good here. But anyways, I'll check you guys later. This is Jordan Tao with JT News.